So Windows 11 came out and not every, well, okay, maybe some people are fans of it. I'm not the biggest fan. Um, I've been looking at a lot of ways to modify it and roll it back. There was one thing that kind of bothered me that I wasn't a fan of, and that's the start menu. Now there used to be a trick that you could easily do a reg edit and switch it back so it looks and feels more like Windows 10, um, but Microsoft disabled that. So it's no longer available. But what you can do right now is install an app and I'm gonna show you how to install it and the features of it. And what it does is it changes the look and feel of Windows 11 and reverts it back to something that I'm a little bit more comfortable with, which is Windows 10. You can even go back to Windows 7 if you wanted to. So let's take a look. And here we are at the lovely Windows 11 desktop. So we're gonna head over to Microsoft Edge because that's the default browser. And we're gonna to go to the website where I can download the software. And startallback.com is the official URL of the website. And you can see that you can download it for free. And it's a 30 day trial. So it's not completely free. It's 30 days, try it out. If you like it, then you can come back and buy a license for it. And if you buy a license for it, it's fairly cheap, it's five bucks. Um, so if you find it useful, you wanna support this guy, uh, you can go ahead and use that. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna download it and test it out, see what it's like. Gonna click on the download link here and it's gonna begin to download. And here it is, it's completed. I'm gonna open it up and we'll start installing it. So the first question is, are we gonna install it for one user account or for everyone on the computer? I'm just gonna install it for everyone. So I'll click on that option and I'll say yes to the prompt. And automatically it looks like it's already moved the menu to the left. I like that. And here is the welcome screen. So the first option is to change the theme. Now this is the welcome option right here. The first thing that you can do is change the theme. So if we select proper, click on that. Looks like it's already done something. And we click on the start button. And now we have the original Windows 10 style menu, which is great. I already like that. And now we can go select the second one and it's called kind of 10. So let's click on kind of 10. And we have, we have more of a transparent start bar. Uh, the icon has changed. And if we click on it, we have more of a Windows 10 look here, which is great. Click on all programs and you can see everything listed up here. Not bad. Okay. And then if we go back to the third option here, it's remastered seven. So we'll click on that. And again, the menu bar has changed. And if we click on the start and then all programs, we can see I have more of a Windows 7 look here. It really depends on your preference and what you prefer to have over here. I like the proper 11 because it's a mix of both worlds and I get everything that I want and it's easily accessible. Let's take a look at some of the other options here. If we click on the start menu and let's see, we have the options to change the visual style and make the icons large, small, or medium, and then how many icons you want, that's up to you. And then you have the option to use large icons. So let's see it before all programs. And these icons are pretty small and I'm pretty sure that's gonna make it bigger. So we'll go back over here and I'm gonna turn it on and let's check it out. So this is called medium and then let's switch it to large. And all these icons are larger. So that's what that option does. And so you can turn it on and off. And basically all the features in here, you can just turn on and off by checking it. Display fly out menu. So menu right now, nothing is changing. But if we turn on the fly out option, it pops all the way out. This is, yeah, Windows XP style right here. <laughs> I haven't seen this in a while, okay. So you can spend a lot of time in here customizing it to however you want it to look. You have the options to either display, link, or menu. You don't have to display everything in here. You can actually just turn them all off if you wanted to. And it just really minimizes what you have in your start menu. Uh, I believe that would be over here. Let me just turn them back on and see what we get. Yeah, so it just turns on folders over here in the menu and then you can turn them off. So that's a nice thing to have off if you want to reduce the color of your start menu. Next, we have the taskbar. And if we click on this, you can see we can change the icons that we have over here. Right now we have the Windows 10, uh, but we can click it over to a Clover. There you go. And then you can switch it back to, this is like a Windows 10 logo. And then we have, I guess that's Vista or Windows 7. Maybe that's Windows 7. And then, okay, I'm gonna call it Vista. I don't really know. And if you, I, I actually like the new logo, it's clean. So I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. And then visual style, the icon size, we can change the icon size to small, medium, large, 
and extra large. Now it's looking more like an Apple menu. Okay, so I'm gonna move it back to medium, leave it as is, dynamic transparency. So if we can check that, look at that, the bar completely disappears. That might be useful for some people. It just gives it a clean look and it just has like floating icons in the bottom corner. It's kind of nice. Next is the Explorer. Here's the original Explorer look. So I'll leave that as is and I'm gonna close it. And now I'm gonna apply the Windows 10 ribbon look, select it and I'm gonna open up my Explorer again. And here it is. You got the Windows 10 look. I guess they're calling this a classic look. And then let's try the Windows 7 and see how the Windows 7 looks. And there we go, that's the Windows 7 look. So you can change the way that even the folders look. There is a ton of different options that you can do with this application, uh, including changing the color of the start menu uh, to whatever color that you want uh, and play around with all the options there. But the point I'm trying to make is that you don't have to keep Windows 11 looking like Windows 11. You can revert it back. Uh, you can't use the registry hacks anymore, but you can use applications like this. I'm sure there's other ones out there. And actually, if you know them, please put them in the comments below so we can share it with other people. And I don't mind testing it out. So this is how to modify your Windows 11 to look like Windows 10 or Windows 7. And I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.